Riding out of the blue corner. Ему 33 года. Рост 177 сантиметров. Вес 83,4 килограмма. Профессиональный рекорд 16 побед, 6 поражений. И его стиль бразильское джиу-джитсу. Ladies and gentlemen, he's 33 years old. He stands 177 centimeters tall, weighing at 83.4 kilos. As Brazilian jiu-jitsu specialist with professional records, the 16 victories and 6 defeats, representing Curitiba Parana Brasil, here is Antonio Godzilla Marcos. He was a very cross the blue, and his opponent fighting out of the red corner. By its own 30 years, rost 177 centimeters, vs 83 and 35 soda kilograms. Его профессиональный рекорд 14 побед, 6 поражений и его стиль борьба. Ladies and gentlemen, he is 30 years old, standing 177 centimeters tall, official weight 83.35 kilos. And the wrestler with professional record, 14 victories and 6 defeats. Дамы и господа, из Красного Россия, Фатон Хусейн Кошагов. Рефери поединка Виктор Корнеев. Victor Karniev takes charge of this middleweight contest. We look at the tail of the tape there. Height and reach pretty much identical, just slight edge on the side of Hussein Kushagov. Similar records as well. Three years the younger is the Grozny fighter Hussein Kushagov. He is in the red corner. Antonio Marcos, Marco Pirata in the blue corner making his debut. Me, Brian Lacey. Alongside the legend, Mr. Brad von Hodge Pickett. Oof. You saw the tell the tale that both these guys have similar sort of records, uh, similar sort of height, stature, similar body types, similar styles as well, Brian. I'm interested to see Kushigov happy to exchange this in the center with these uh, these strikes. Oh, nice jab straight, uh, straight right down the middle into the midsection there of yeah, Marcos. Also sim similar sort of beards as well. But now, you know, I mean, Kushigov, uh, you know, definitely going to benefit him being the one going forward. He likes to press his men up against the, his opponents up against the cage, get his hands locked. Get, the, get this fight to yes. the mat. It's okay. So this You're is the key to for me. Is like who's going to control the center of the cage straight away? It seems to be Kuzgov being able to dictate where this fight takes place. Now we saw a little replay, but Marcos seems okay, ready to continue. And the same Kushagov, he's been on a journey since my time joining back ACB, now ACA. Brad, he, he was heavyweight, he has fought all the way down to welterweight, and now he has settled a middleweight. This is like my journey with my weight fight <laughs> over lockdown, but in the opposite. Welterweight all the way to heavyweight now, Brad. I think the job pressing forward. I, mean, like I say we were talking about wrestling. So you can never sleep in these guys' hands. He has very good power hands, and that's what helps him set up his wrestling because people got to respect that. When you respect someone, when you know someone's got good takedowns, you'll be worrying for it. But when you know they've got good hands as well, you got to be protecting that. So you can get thinking about my hands, then you can get on your legs. You think about the takedowns, you can land on his hands. It's always a good tool. Now, Marco's doing a good job getting himself into the center of the cage. Can he push Kuzco back? Yeah, Mark has a very relaxed striking style, lots of feints. He's got to be careful coming in. There's some heavy, heavy hands there. Yeah. The former Kushagov. Kushagov sees his head when he throws these hands. His head seems to be moving well. At the moment, I see Marco's head there. He's going back in the straight line. That's not a good thing to do. Either. And this is the longest I think we've seen a fight without Kushagov at least attempting a clinch or driving it towards the cage. So, oh, that's a quick left hook coming round. He's thrown that a few times, Brad, so maybe seen something in the preparation with that combination, the straight to the body he's used a lot, and then that left hook as well. That's what he's saying. Well, sometimes we're both, we're both hands kind of similar sort of styles. Sometimes you get to showcase the other areas. Was like, I'm maybe not trying to take this guy down. He may have good takedown defense. You've got to tell here to see if he lets him back up or he's going to go down in the guard here. I think he's going to let him back up. Looks like it, Brad. Looks like it. Victor Karniev might do that job for him. Yeah, he steps back back to their feet. So interesting. Yeah. When you know the, the style and the, the success Kushagov has had with that. And I have to also comment on the, where he is in his career right now because I, 
on the walkout, I talked about it, he's, he had that inconsistent period where a lot of people questioned him mentally, physically, you cannot question that guy, no matter what class, weight class he was fighting him. But now he's on, on a run of three and one in his last four, and the only loss he's got in those four fights is to the now champion, Magomed Razul Gasanov, and he took him to a decision, Brad, so you've, you've got to see that there has been a change, whether that's mentally or with who he's training, the people he's got around him. Also, I think tactically, as, you know, his hands are looking really good tonight, Brian. What's been working really well for me, he's been throwing a nice little straight right to the body to try and set up his left hook. With the left hook here just landed a little bit there. He's got the attention of Marco on his oh, back. Oh, he's done! He's done! Wow! Caught him with the left and the right hand. Yeah, yeah he's knocked out on his feet. On his feet, the cage was the only thing keeping him standing. There we see it, the right hand connects and he goes stiff. And it's the cage just holding him up there, but great sportsmanship from Kushagov. Exactly, you see, you see how switched on Kushagov is, you know, how he landed there. I mean, as long as a bit more charger, I wanted him to be able to and stuff, but he knew when I landed, he, he was out. And I mean, that was an amazing, amazing performance by Hussein Kushagov. Yeah, had me almost questioning why he was letting her. Antonio Marco get back to his feet, but he proved exactly why there and sh talk us through it one more time, Brad. This is a right hook there that landed there. But for me, it was a, 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 a straight right to the body. His left hook was doing really, really well the whole night. But like I said on the, on the walkout, we were talking about this guy's wrestling, how great and dominant he's been with his opponents, throwing them around the canvas. But I said, do not slip on this guy's hands there. And he shows why he has developed so much. He's got up, his stock has risen so much in his weight, weight class. Triple fold with that performance tonight. Yeah, that takes him to four and one in his last five. And his only loss coming to the champion, Magomed Razul Gasanov. And that's a statement, not literally knocked his opponent stiff, so stiff he couldn't fall to the mat. I haven't seen anything like that before, Brad, and it's. Um... Uh, credit to Kushagov for not following up and continue those strikes. He knew that his opponent was finished. You saw you, you saw him when he was up against. He's still down now. He's still now. He's getting, getting treatment. You know, he was in a bad way. You saw you that he was you was just a cage holding him up. His eyes rolled behind his head. And I say, uh, I say Kushagov realized that. Looked at him, saw it straight away. As you see here, pull him around. You see how he fell. You see that he's just not there. And his hands are limp, you know, very, very good sportsmanship here not to follow up. But watch that, Brad. That left hand was thrown as you saw uh, Marcos it's starting to throw that uh, left of his own. But now you see the speed at which he throws the right. So look, you see this coming and he matches him for pace, beats him to the punch and finishes him there. Stunning, devastating finish there from Hussein Kushagov. Yeah, it's good to see uh, Marco getting back to his feet here, sitting on a stool, getting some oxygen. Yeah, the medical staff making sure he's okay. He is uh, responding, talking to his corner, talking to the medics. But that's, I mean, in this weight class, that's a, that's a problem to deal with. He has become a problem. I'm saying Kuchikov, you mean, everyone's been really scared of it, how he wrestles. But now, like I said, you can't sleep on this guy's hands. They're a powerful, really good boxing. They're really good boxing tonight. I mean, mixing up, going downstairs to upstairs. You know, and uh, yeah, impressive performance. And what is all equally impressive is the respect and, and given between the two at the end of that fight. We shall make it official now. Let's hand it to Alexander Zagorski. Ladies and gentlemen, your referee in charge, Viktor Karneev, stops the contest at three minutes and 40 seconds of round number one. Победу нокаутом одержал Келфинер Байкею Хусейн Коу!